Hi guys, Ryu here with Nartut for Blender. Let's have a look at new Mercury 13 hard dubs release. There is a really cool tool I've been just playing with like a half an hour ago and it's just too good I decided to make a video on it. Uh, it's created by ST3 and from the Team C and it's just brilliant. So let's have a look at it. So let's grab a plane and let's subdivide it, right? And just subdivide it um, with Shift R to have more iterations and, you know, Tensor mesh. Now let's go to edge mode and select an edge and then let's go to ST3 mesh tools and edit multi-tool and you make sure that you have a light, uh, latest uh, version of hard dot which is you know Mercury 13 at least right because uh, it doesn't exist in the previous ones. So let's go here and go to edit multi-tool and you get this massive menu which is a bit intimidating but don't worry about it we will figure it out with x you can simply toggle between different types of menus right that's one one two three will get you from uh, vert edge uh, to face mode but there are different tools within it so let's go so first of all what you can do is you can dissolve stuff when you press d uh, you're going to enter dissolve tool and when you hover over edge you can see highlights in red right so when you click on it you can simply dissolve it what i would love to see in next update is actually a um, continuous dissolve so when you click and hover it would dissolve dissolve whatever you hover over it would be even faster but this one is already fast as hell when you press j you enter vert mode automatically and when you click on edge uh, oh, sorry on, on a vert and then hover over another vert you get this line right and you can see it's actually a preview of where the edge is gonna go so when you click on them you simply add edges very quickly right so this is very quick another way of uh, working with this tool would be to grab a knife so let's go to dissolve and let's dissolve some uh, edges first of all right like here okay Dissolve this one and this one and dissolve these and we're done then I'm gonna press K for knife and when I enter knife tool again, you get this preview. There's a percentage in the middle. I'm not sure what it is. I'm guessing it's a distance between uh, both edges. So maybe um, that's related. But when you hold control, you can actually snap to increments. So it's, you know, this is a middle, right? And this is 25%. So it makes sense, right? So uh, we can actually precisely determine where the edge is going to fall. So I can go from middle to middle. This is genius. You can't do it that easy in Blender, right? And then you can just simply keep on cutting, so you can keep on slicing continuously, right? Then you press C if you want to exit the uh, the knife tool, okay? So that's that, and of course enter if you want to exit the tool uh, altogether. Now how the selection works in this tool? When you scroll your mouse up and down, you can select stuff, hover your mouse and when you hold your button. When you hold shift, you select more, and when you hold control, you deselect it, okay? So that's how it works. Now... Another thing that you can do is you can, for example, mark edges with uh, sharpen tools. So when you select some edges and press E, it's going to actually sharpen them up. This is useful, especially when you select stuff with loops. And we can do it in the next, uh, on the next uh, geo. So let's grab a cube. And let me show you what I mean. So let's grab a cube. Let's grab a cylinder. Let's make it a little bit smaller and move it up. And let's come. Actually, let's rotate it because it's Sunday. And let's combine these two and Boolean Union. Let's combine them together and Bob Jean Cool. So now, what we can do is do this: select this edge, select this edge with Shift, right? Then go back here and edit multi tool. And now what you can do is press L. This we're gonna select the loop. But when you press B, it's actually going to select like a beveled loop, but on both sides, which is great. The only problem is now that it's been limited by the clamp, bevel clamp. So I hope this is going to get removed or uh, some kind of option is going to get added in the future updates. But, you know, this is already helpful. So that's that. Uh, another thing that you can do, right, is... Um, merge stuff so for example let's say that i wanted to merge verts right i can click on a vert and then another vert and it's gonna get merged watch so click and click click and click click and click and it's gonna keep going until you know tell him to stop so you can literally merge verts very quickly okay the, you know what however you want it doesn't matter insane so that's that. Another thing that this tool can do is loops, okay? So let's see. Now let's grab some loops here and let's control, control, not control B, uh, control R and grab some loops in here. So check this out. If I select um, 
if I select, you know, if I wanted to select loops in Blender, I would need to go Alt, click, and then Shift or click, and click all of these, right? Now, the way I select with this tool is you open the tool, you select everything with, uh, with the uh, Shift, and you press L, and you're done. But there is more. So let's say I'm going to select this loop and this loop and go Shift L. This will select the whole ring of uh, these edges around this uh, face loop, okay? So it's pretty cool. Another thing that you can do, and there's one more one more thing that I'll show you. Let's select these two edges, okay? All right. And when I bevel them, right, in Blender, I'm going to get this, you know, insert kind of thing, right? Which is cool. However, what you can't do that easily in Blender is this. Go back to um, this Edit Multi-Tool, and then you press B, and you can actually create something like this. Now, why would you want that? Well, for example, what you can do with this, and when I select these edges, I can actually create some custom cuts in the mesh like that, which is really cool. Uh, you know, they, they, they can be just precisely sort of uh, um, modeled to, to your liking. I think it's genius. And in addition, what you could do, for example, right, you could use with these tools from um, the EM Macro tool from Hardup. So if you go here and actually bevel this thing, right, that's actually hotlining. Let's do it again. So uh, let's go here and B to do this. And then let's actually bevel this normally in Blender. So press enter and bevel this one normally, right? Like this. And you got this perfect offset around it, right? So what you could do with it, you know, you could actually have some fun with it. So for example, what you could do is go to, you could insert this, right? Like this, just a little bit, okay? And you could just, you know, let's say go to EM Macro and, you know, do something like this. Okay, so it's a pretty cool way of working and open some new possibilities, which I think is pretty awesome. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Big up for Team C and ST3 for coming up with this tool. Superb work and, you know, can't wait for some new updates, whatever these guys can do with this tool, because I can see that this could go places already. And uh, it's fantastic for cleanup for fixing geo for reverse engineering and bullions uh, it's just amazing i can't wait to use it in the field so anyway um awesome stuff if you need hard ops and box cutter you can always go to the video description and the affiliate links to master z on one zero zero one store which you can buy uh, are the hard ops box cutter bundle i got links to machine add-ons mesh machine in deco uh, deco machine 2 so you can get them as well and you're going to help the channel at the same time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Give me a sub and like if you did. I'll catch you in the next one.